it's June here. Welcome back to the Noble channel. And to all my new subscribers, I see you. Thank you so much for coming on board and supporting this humble little channel of mine. I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas and are totally enjoying this whole festive season. In today's episode, I will be unwrapping some bookish gifts and I was thinking, you know what, why don't I share them with you because it is after all the season of giving and receiving and I have given out books and I'm also receiving books. So uh, let's get rolling. I hope you receive a lot of lovely bookish gifts this Christmas season. Well, here are some of mine and I would like to unwrap them today and share them with you. So I'll start off with this one. This is from my secret Santa. Not so secret anymore because I know who um, the person is. I would not reveal their name to protect their privacy, but um, uh, to the person who gave me this, thank you so much. I'm going to unwrap this now. So here goes. I like to save the uh, wrapping paper guys so you know because you know it can be recycled so you know save the earth you can recycle. Oh well oh my goodness oh wow this is fantastic I believe this is a book sleeve and it's so pretty because it has everything related to Paris France and you know I'm a bit of a francophile so this is oh my gosh this person clearly knows me very well ah uh, I've been wanting a book sleeve and here is one let me just unwrap that and show it to you whoops I just dropped the tag hang on Keep calm and read a book, it says. Very good advice. This is a book sleeve, guys. It, you know, what you can do is like you can put your book in here and you can protect your books when you're traveling. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Let me just grab a book and show you how. For example, this is a book and what you can do is, ta-da, and your book is protected. It's so soft. Ah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Oh. Wait, there's more than one gift in there. There is another. Oh! Wow, look at that. Wait, hang on. I've got some very nice clips here as well. Oh, everything is very Parisian and French related. Oh, this person knows me really well. Absolutely beautiful. For the Francophile in me, and this is a notebook. Yes, look at that, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm inspired to write now. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's so pretty. Um, I think this is a very good size for bullet journaling or just, you know, journaling in general. Something where I can put, you know, anything that inspires me, I can write in here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Love it. I, well, actually what happened was, um, well, when I didn't know who my, uh, the gift giver was, um, so this person was asking me, you know, what are the books that I would like to have? The thing is, I have a lot of books that are still waiting to be read, so I, I just felt that it was a bit too greedy to ask for more books, right? So I said, um, you know what? Don't get me books, just get me bookish stuff, you know? So, and I think she did a fantastic job. All right, next one, I have this, and it's from my friend. This is the person who, um, kind of like, it's the co-captain of the um, book club. We call ourselves um, the book huggers okay so this is from the co-captain of the book huggers uh, book club so what's in here oops I, I, oopsie daisy ah, well <laughs> I think I'm very predictable people just know me right I got more stationery you know I'm a stationery fiend I am like I've got washi tapes I've got tons of mild liners pens and too many pens and guess what i'm gonna get more pens the thing about pretty 
stationary like these is that sometimes I'm almost reluctant to use them because they're just so pretty. I'll give a, I'll insert a close-up shot of these uh, gifts so you guys can have a closer look. And also another beautiful um, notebook. Hang on, I do believe this may be a journal. Let me just put this aside here. I'm just going to open it so you guys can see what it's like inside. The other one is sealed so I'm not going to open it yet because I know that sometimes after you open it, I don't know about I, I know you guys but here I think because of the weather I get yellow spots on my pages and that upsets me. Oh that's so pretty. Oh cool! Look at that! It's a planner! Fantastic! I absolutely needed this! And it's so colourful too. It's so pretty. Oh what an appropriate gift! I should, you know, get more organized now, right? Because I have such pretty planners. Thank you so much! These two books I got from the Christmas Friendship Book Fair. Okay, um, that's organized by my friend Anthony from Boutique. At the pop-up store, um, there was like a table with books already wrapped up. They're wrapped so beautifully. And these books were going for $10, 10 Singapore dollars a pop. And um, well, it, it's a surprise, right? And so all you get is um, these little hints what the book is about. Like for this one, I picked this one. It says Forgotten Crime Novel on a Boat Collaboration of 14. Oops, what have I done here? Collaboration of 14. British mystery writers. So that caught my eye and I think I will enjoy this very much. And Anthony curates the most amazing books, okay, at his pop for his pop-up store. So you can be sure you get good stuff. Um, this one, it says here London and it's so appropriate if you look at that, okay, London. It's so festive here, like very Christmassy uh, by various authors. Stories inspired by daily commute on public transport. So let's open this one first, okay? This is the Forgotten Crime Novel. Again, I'm almost reluctant to tear this wrapping paper um, off because it's so cute. Da -da -da! Ooh, I like the cover already. Okay, my sister said that I talk about book covers too much. So I will try not to say that too much or too often. I can't help myself, right? Oh, nice! Okay, sorry, I'll just put this here. Look at that! Okay, by members of the Detection Club, including Agatha Christie, Dorothy L. Sayers, and G.K. Chesterton. All the authors that I love and adore. This is perfect! I love it! Oh my gosh! I am so looking forward to reading this. Inspector Rudge does not encounter many cases of murder in the sleepy seaside town of Winmouth. But when an old sailor lands a rowing boat containing a fresh corpse, the inspector's investigation immediately comes up against several obstacles. The vicar who owns the boat and the victim's niece has disappeared. Even the identity of the victim is called into doubt. Inspector Rudge begins to wonder if there isn't more to this case than meets the eye. Oh, yes! Good job, I picked this for myself. I would love this gift <laughs> if I had received it from anyone else. So, yay! Looking forward to read this. Okay, now for this one, let's go. This is London. I do like London, okay, so I don't mind reading about London. And um, stories inspired by commute. I think that, oh, it's a hardcover book! Ah, you, you guys know, right? I love hardcover books. Oh my gosh! It's so gorgeous! Look at this one! Oops, Underground Tales for London. Stories inspired by the tube. Yes! I think that's like the like the map of the tube, isn't it? Oh, look at that! It has a little um, postcard in there as well. I'll read a little bit here for you. 
Um, every line tells a different story. I guess that means the train line, right? Okay. A troubled young woman travels across London to end an abusive relationship. An agitated father gets lost in the city with an injured toddler. Two men who unknowingly cross paths every day finally meet one life-changing afternoon. A sudden death on the platform at Blackfriars sparks rumours of murder. Ooh. Underground, we are at once isolated and connected. We avoid eye contact and the conversation while our lives literally intersect with those of strangers. Good choice. Again, well done. Wow, I did, I mean, I did so great at picking books. I should have like spent a couple of more bucks and bought more surprise mystery books for myself. Why do I say myself? It's like, there's only one of me, right? It's Christmas, okay? So be forgiving. Don't be the grouchy grammarian, okay? Oh, wow. This is from Warda Books. Guys, um, Warda Books is, um, is also an independent bookstore here in Singapore. I'll put the link in the description box below. They are um, located at the Bosora Street in Singapore. If you are in the city, please do go visit them. It is a very cool bookstore. Uh, I've been there a couple of times, okay? And this gift is from my friend who obviously bought the book from her in a book. And I think when, when it is like, you know, presented to you in this sort of paperback, you don't really need to gift wrap it, do you? Uh, oh, that's a bookmark, a very pretty bookmark. Can you see that? Okay. And here's a book. And here's a book. And the book is A Treasury of Rumi. Guidance on the path of wisdom and unity. Well, I do need wisdom, so this will help. Look at that. Wow. And again, it's a hardcover book. That's the inside cover. It's so pretty. And it comes also with um, a bookmark, a ribbon bookmark. Wow, fantastic. It's so pretty. I like this. This color is stunning. Right, okay, let me... Let me just read to you a little bit here. It says, This new anthology of Maulana Rumi's teachings, uh, freshly translated and supplemented with commentaries, aims to introduce readers to the personality and teachings of a great Islamic scholar, teacher and saint. I am keen to read and learn about all the religions in the world because I feel the more we learn, the more we understand each other, it would help us to get along better and make this world a better place, right? So definitely something to treasure here. A treasury of Rumi. Well, that's all I have to share with you today. Um, I'm not sure if I will be receiving any more bookish gifts, but if I do, I would be happy to share them with you. So do tell me what you have received this Christmas and especially your bookish gifts. Do share them with me. Um, I guess this is where I'll stop for today. It's a short video, um, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday and um, I would be back again to talk about more books and other stuff related to reading and travel and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I especially want to talk about the reading challenge. That is probably going to be in my next video. So until I see you again, remember to be kind, be better, noble. Bye! Happy reading!